yet, but it's happening. It can't help but happen if you set your intent to make friends with the no mind. Courage begins to arise, but you don't recognize that as yourself yet. You don't even really notice it and, it, and would be surprised to have it pointed out. You are still too much in mind to see clearly at all, but you are changing. At some point, it becomes fun, like a game, and you realize you've shed most of your cares and concerns. You've been so frequently surprised by greeting things that used to matter so much and finding it difficult to even care about them at all that you've given in to the changes. You've let go of the need to make sense of it. You really begin to go with the flow. This may even be your first experience of flow. You begin to stand taller somehow, maybe even physically. You have more energy too. You don't yet know where it came from, but you can't help but notice it. With hindsight, I can now say that it's energy that was all locked up in fear and stiffness that is now released. This can get really amazing at times, for it's more than just that, of course, but that's part of it, it seems. You may find yourself more generous, too, as you find you just don't care so much about physical things anymore. Sure, certain things retain a sense of specialness, but they may, may be entirely new things or different things in addition to your special ones from before. Much that you really cared about, however, or really thought you cared about, is more or less meaningless to you now. This can be disconcerting, for sure. This journey is complicated for those who don't live alone, of course, due to the constant interaction with family, friends, or lovers. I'm a hermit, you know. You are changing so fast now that it is hard for them to keep up with you. They, being still firmly ensconced in mind, will try to label you, but their labels will keep having to change like you do. This will likely confuse them and also cause a good bit of finger pointing, of blaming. Yet, somehow this too is okay. It is all right as it is just part of the dance, of the change of you into you don't know what. Nor do I say that I know what I'm changing into either. So don't think that is ahead for you, that you will somehow morph into this all-knowing, clairvoyant, telepathic being come down from heaven to rescue the world. <laughs> right. No nothing means pretty much just that. So don't expect anything at all, and certainly not to know what lies ahead. Meanwhile, here I go painting this map for you. What a hoot. Oh, well, it is what it is, and I don't propose to know what's going on. So, to continue, you're really getting into this nothing is as important as I thought it was before space, now, making friends with the no mind. It is changing you on some really deep levels. Of course, this is just one way to look at it. Before it is done, you will have seen it from many different perspectives, each one surprising. So, you might as well begin to enjoy yourself. Another way to see it is as your higher self taking over, now finally being empowered by your willingness to let go and surrender your tight grip, your chokehold on mind. Or, when mind gets out of the way, that's when change can really begin to happen. Yeah, I see that now. Until we get out of mind and free ourselves from the many layers and levels of control it has on our life, our awareness, our feelings, our everything, until then we are largely blinded to the greater reality because mind is not willing to go there. It is too frightening to it. But anyway, now, as I look back, and at just the last few months, for heaven's sake, I see that I entered the no mind quite hesitatingly. 
I required the assurance that kept popping up everywhere in the strangest ways to see that I was on the right path. It kept appearing, however, that assurance, and I won't even begin to try to explain that. It will be quite dip different for everyone anyway, so my experience of it really does not matter. Then, from within the silence, the emptiness of non-reliance on mind, I completed, or began to complete, the disidentification from mind. That's what made the once important things around me lose all seeming importance. That's what helped change wants and desires into gentle preferences, which are not offended regardless. Here, a favorite motto of mine illustrates something important. It is just as harmful to take offense as it is to give offense. Now, what does that have to do with the subject? Well, I don't see yet, but regardless, I'll go on. So often these things fall into place later on. Besides, it doesn't hurt just to move on, just to let go of the need to make sense. It just doesn't matter. It, e it either will or it won't. And it is just so supremely unimportant. Ha! What a nice space to be in. I highly recommend it. As this disidentification from mind progressed, I began to find it easier to occupy heart space. I began to find real bliss and real sensations I can only call love therein. Besides, as we enter the no mind, our fears are sure to crop up. And since I had set my intent to immediately drop into heart whenever any fear arose, that helped. There were and are times when I find myself positively drunk on light and love, so warmly held in the divine embrace. I won't try to put words to these, but they become more frequent. <clears throat> this was when I could begin to take some steps out in trust. I had so given up my concept of God that I felt rudderless there for a while. I guess I still do, kind of, but it's different. Geez, that was totally clear, wasn't it, as in not. So, how do I say this? Love doesn't make good sense, you see. This is no kind of human love either. We just don't have anything to compare it to here in 3D. It just has to be experienced, to be believed and understood, heart understood, not mind understood. Anyway, I think I need to ground myself with a meal. It's getting a little hazy here, when it was so clear before. I know the gist of it is that I now begin to know what it is like to live from trust but those words so don't convey it. So, I'll come back later to get back in the flow and take you there. God bless.